I'm so mad right now. I mean, I can't tell you to what point I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm furious. Ugh. I feel fire coming out of my everywhere. I woke up like every day and I found that mom didn't make me breakfast. And I found that my girlfriend didn't text me to say good morning like she used to. The cat down the road didn't come up to meow next to my door like she always does. My neighbor took my parking lot. The police officer down the road wrote me a ticket because I don't know why, just he wanted to. And all that made me angry. All that made me feel like if I wanna burst and turn up into a Hulk or I don't know, something like that. I'm so mad. So, so mad. What did you think when you saw the first clip before the intro and you were like, yeah, what, what the hell is this guy talking about? Is he going to put on a new episode to tell me that he's mad? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that was not the purpose of this episode. I was just trying to tell you how madness can turn you into a mad person. And peace upon you all, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Power of Words. This is your boy Yas from English Talk channel and in today's episode we are going to talk about another word that has a power into it. We are out here in nature baby, the sky is behind me, breathing in that good ass prana, the Adam prayer just launched. How many of us really listens to other people complaining out of anger yeah this that uh, he did this to me she did that to me I did this to him we always complain about anger and why is someone angry because of nothing what is anger and what does it do to us as human beings does it have a negative impact on us or a positive one? What's the hidden power anger has? Fellow discoverers, ladies and gentlemen, consider anger like a outer virus. It's not born with us. We acquire it in our lives. When we are babies, we don't know what anger is. But as we grow old in life, we acquire it from other entities, from other parties. And consider it like a virus, like a deadly, deadly virus. Because for a start of, it does lower our immune system. If you feel angry, you are more likely to get sick. Because you are angry, because your immune system was low and so you are vulnerable to so many attacks so many viruses that you inhale in one small breath that can kill you without you even noticing only because you were angry so why I feel angry is anger really worth it or not it's not worth it I'm here talking to you I'm not angry I'm more of happy listening to the Adan prayer behind me the Adan is calling us to go pray and I'm here filming this episode for you afterwards I'm going to you know go pray but it's like the last 
light of the day so normally I don't film when the Adan is here but only because you know because if I didn't film this right now and after the Adan it will be it will be like dark 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 and I'm not going to be able to film <laughs> so that's why I'm filming so yeah anger is a virus that you should avoid it's not worth it you know just let go just let go just like that it's easy it's really easy to let go there is nothing worth your anger there is nothing you know when you feel angry it's like you take all the energy into your entire body and you condense that energy into your gut and you burst it in your aura like a nuclear bomb or something you feel like if someone stabbed you when you're angry it's because you take all the energy you have in your body every cell you have produces a mass of electrical shots that condense to one bigger shot concentrated in the middle of your gravitational spot which is your belly so why do that why try to stab yourself with your own energy let it go you know just breathe have a cup of water lay down or just sit down listen to a song you like do something you love call someone you love a lot of pe a lot of people really don't know why they feel angry just like that it's because they don't control their anger there is a method to control anger really in case of need you can even see an anger management specialist but everything falls down to a small breath you just let go it's easy as that instead of taking it all into your body and lowering your immune system and harming your own energy and the energy of those around you those who love you those who don't want to see you angry just learn how to let go nothing in life really really matters let me say that again nothing in life I mean like nothing at all really matters on this planet we are mere passengers we are here on a journey to go to a destination we all have our own destinations some want to be astronauts some want to live in the afterlife like a golden bird some want to go to paradise some want to be a teacher we all have our destinations to go to but guess what it's not the destination that matters it's the journey you take it is the journey it is the fact that I'm talking to you here right now in this moment and you're listening to me here right now in this moment that's what is important ladies and gentlemen remember to have fun riding your own skateboard in your own journey instead of just being angry of everything being angry of you know your mom your dad your neighbor your cat down the road <laughs> let go it's not worth it to control anger it's up here your subconscious mind has a strong 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 power to change the way you live and to change the way you feel and to change the way you think everything you think about manifests into our plane into our reality so instead of thinking about anger, think about pleasure, think about joy, think about laughter, think about things that you want to think about instead of thinking about things that you don't want to think about. Because let me tell you something, you know how subconscious mind works. Whenever you think about something, either you want to think about it or not, your subconscious mind pulls it and applies it to you 
let me try to explain that further. Let's say, for example, that you suffer from hair loss and because you're suffering from hair loss you want more hair in your head or somewhere else <laughs> but the fact that you're thinking in your mind consciously I am suffering from hair loss your unconscious brain takes from that the final word that you mentioned which is hair loss and applies it to your body so instead of gaining more hair you are losing more hair and you're like what the hell is happening I'm doing my best I'm doing everything I can and I'm still losing hair and it's simply because instead of saying to your subconscious brain I want more hair you're telling him I want hair loss that's what he hears that's that what what's he and what he understands it's consider him like a dumb dumb person I don't know if you have ever met a dumb dumb trying to speak to a numb dumb it's the fact between your conscious and unconscious mind whatever you think about consciously your unconscious mind analyzes it just like that out of context instead of your conscious mind explaining to your unconscious mind like hey dude I am suffering from hair loss which means that I don't want any more hair loss he just like tell him hey dude the last word this guy mentioned was hair loss so take it and he's like hey okay hair loss so let's lose more hair so instead of trying to figure out why are you angry all the time and you want to change that don't think about anger think about happiness think about joy and laughter and you're like hey even if you're angry I mean like you're furious right now you're feeling that you're on top of your fingers you're walking your fingertips and you will be like hey dude I'm happy even though you're angry even though you're mad but you'll be like hey dude I'm happy so change the way you think to change the way you feel therefore you will change the way you live stop feeling angry because it is a virus that will kill you gradually and will kill your serenity be free be happy stay safe stay home Love yourselves, accept yourselves, and love everyone else. This was your boy Yaz from a new episode of Power of Words dealing with anger. Hope you like this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for new thrilling, thriving content all the time. See you on the next episode. Take good care of yourselves. Don't forget that I love you and that I'm not angry about you at all. Take good care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, and take that good-ass energy with you. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Take all that anger-free energy with you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget that I love you all. I really do. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>